The Walking Dead, Issue 104. And with that, we'll be going now. Take your time closing the gate when we're gone. Enjoy how safe we made this area for you while we were waiting. We're really nice people when you get to know us. Honest. Help me shut the gate. Wait, what did he just say to you when he whispered? It's not important. Rick, it's not important. That man is dangerous. I think everything he says is important. This isn't. Is this a joke to you? What the hell are you doing, Rick? What is this? Let me put this to you as clearly as I can. I'm not in charge anymore. Negan is. That is how we're going to survive. By following his rules. If you don't want to follow his rules, that's fine. I'll pull this gate back open and you can hit the road. See how you fare out there, on your own. Rick, don't. No. This is goddamn serious. And I'm not going to have someone flying off the handle and getting us killed. No fucking way. Anyone want to try their luck? Just say the word and I'll open the gate. Anyone? That's what I thought. We need a new supply of entry. What we have, what we need, so we can go get it. To be more than well stocked when they come back. That's a lot of work to be done here. Get to it. Carl, get down here. We need to talk. God damn it, Dwight. Put that thing away. The hell you doing out here? We heard you were dead. I was in deep shit when all you cowards fucking tucked tail and ran. But I got out. Figured this outpost was the closest, even though it was out of my way. Faster to get a car from you and take it back to the sanctuary. Well, that's all well and good. But how long have you been followed? What? Spotted you almost a mile down the road, along with your admirer. He's hanging back a ways. Why you think we didn't just wait for you to get to the tower? You guys got him? You coming? Over. Jam, come in. We got no intentions on killing you, unless you make us. I recognize you from the hilltop. Remember you being kind enough? Surrender, and we won't even hurt you. Lie face down on the ground, put your hands behind your head, or we'll cut your balls off. The fuck? Dumbass. Gonna die now. Put the knife away, Tara. Restrain that son of a bitch. He's more used to us alive. I thought our new friends were playing by the rules. Falling in line. Seems I was wrong. They clearly sent you to follow me back, so that you would know where we live. Why would you want to know that, unless you eventually planned on paying us a visit? Negan's gonna have a lot of questions for you.
arms inside the jeep. God damn it! Where the hell did he? Not one word to Negan about any of this. Not one damn word. Agreed. God damn it. Get us inside. Hurry. First undead ghouls, and now we gotta deal with motherfucking ghosts! Reports of my demise were greatly exaggerated. There's always next time, I suppose. <laughs> okay, boys! Let's get this shit unloaded and inside. It's gonna be dark soon. I don't wanna be tucked in and catch some Z's with ample time to throw the wood in at least a couple of my wives. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying I'm gonna fuck some of my girls tonight. Get it? Think we'll get one of these mattresses? I fucking hope so. But who knows what we have to do to wear them on. The hell? Stay back! What the fucking fuck? What do we want, Negan? He killed my friend. Turn him over to me and I'll let the rest of you live. I've seen the weapons you use. I know you don't have a lot of guns. No one else needs to die. <laughs> God damn! You're adorable! Did you pick that gun because it looks cool? You totally fucking did, didn't you? It's almost twice your size! Uh, kid, I'm not gonna lie to you. You scared the fucking shit out of me. Little fuck! Kill you! Right! Back the fuck off! You're gonna be on a little defenseless child? Is that any way to treat our new guest? 